Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sharon Kellen Art. Today I'm going to be painting a rabbit, and I'm going to try to do it in a more loose manner rather than the way it is seen on the paper. So I'm going to change colors up, and it'll be an unrealistic type of loose rabbit. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've chosen some colors that I'm going to use. I'm going to give them a little squirt of water. I have permanent yellow, deep, which is very much like um, gamboge. This is Aussie red gold, quinacridone coral, quinacridone sienna, and Joseph Z's cool gray. And I'm not sure if I'll be using all of these colors or, and the quinacridone coral I may change out, but I'm gonna go ahead with some water here. I'm taking a large brush. Using larger brushes helps you to keep your paintings loose. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I think I'll go in with some of this yellow here. And it's looking a little too bright to me, so I'm going to change over to the red gold and add that in there as well. I'm keeping this wet. I'm going to go ahead in with some coral. And just kind of the splashing I'm not concerned about because I plan to splash at the end anyway. Take the edges off the edge of the ear so that it comes out adding some water softens they call that softening the edge right now it's a hard edge and I'm just going to go ahead and allow the paint to travel off of that ear and over here I'm going to go ahead and just get this ear wet adding in some Aussie red gold little quinciana down here same with over here and I'm going to go in with some of that quinacridone coral which is very bright and a little more Aussie red gold on the outside here Softening the edge again. Drawing that color off. I need a little bit of a deeper brown color and I'm thinking some raw sienna or some burnt sienna would probably be best. So I'm gonna go in with burnt sienna here. I like that. The quinacridone sienna is nice, but um, Having the burnt sienna takes takes the orange color down a notch. going to save some white of the paper here in the center and I'm not rinsing my brush I'm just dabbing into other paint here
there. Okay. That's right. It's funny. He had dark brown around his eyes. Why can't I pull this photo up? Oh, darn it. I'll just do it that way. As I'm putting that brown in, the paint is still wet on the face. This is still wet. I'm just gonna try to pull a little bit of that color out. Now as I wet the paper here, I'm leaving an area in the center, or almost to the center, I'm leaving it dry so that I can keep some white of the paper in that area. And as you know, if that area is dry, then wet paint will not flow into the dry area. Do a little tilting up here and get this to run down the page a little bit. Okay, I think that's about all I'm going to do there. And I want a little bit darker brown in here, too. Okay, now the cool gray I'm going to use right around the eyes here. Aki's got white right on the front here.
Okay. Blue is complementary to orange, so I think I will go with some of the Prussian. I'm gonna just put a little bit out here. Don't want it super dark, but I just want to get some color behind him. There we go. Then I'll let that dry and I'm gonna put some speckles down. I can put a few down right now, I think, just like this. That will spread out on the paper. And then we'll let that dry. I wanna to try to pick up some of this gray though. I don't. The gray is, um, it bled into the other area, so trying to get rid of some of it, that'll work. If I get it before it dries, it won't stain too much. And this Joseph Z picks up better than regular Payne's gray. There we go. Now I got a little too much, but that's okay. I can always put that back in like that. Okay and then some whiskers. Okay, and now that that's dry, I can add a little more detail in, and I wanna take the um, area here and just add a little bit of burnt sienna. And I'm gonna let it dry again, and I think I might use some of that color, my colored pencils, my Karen Dash pencils. But before I do that, I just wanna get some more speckles on the paper. I love the splash marks. It just, 
helps to loosen things up even more. Trying to avoid the face. And a little bit of the Aussie red gold. There. Okay. And I'll just let that dry. Actually, you know, I don't like this under the eye. I'm going to change this here. Darken it up a bit. There we go. Make it more like the other one. That evens it up a little bit. And I don't like how dark this mouth turned. I should have made it brown. I might be able to get some of that off and then change it to burnt sienna. I'm not sure. It's dried a little too long. It's settled into the paper. But I don't want to scrub too much because this is just 25% cotton paper. That's a little bit better. Okay. I've decided to grab a few of my Kieran Dash pencils and I'm going to give him some brown whiskers because the white ones will not show up. So I'm just doing this. Now you could do that with watercolor as well. I just felt like using these pencils. It's going to be harder for me to go this way. You can also do this with paint. There we go. And his mouth. Nose, I want to lighten that gray. Going very, very lightly. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is go with a darker orangey yellow. If I can find one. I don't know if this is dark enough or not. We'll see. It might be the same color. I just want to add some shadowing under there, but it's not going to work with that color. So let me go a little bit darker. I'll go one shade darker here. Just want to keep this very loose though.
Need a light gray. This one might be light enough. No, I don't think so. I need to go lighter. Mm. Let's try this blue gray. It might be good. It contrasts a little bit. Well, as I finish this up, remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.